Let's go get some coffee. the chance to drink some of our coffee. I want to chat with you about a term that I think is one of the most important terms to embrace as leaders in business. No matter whether you are part of a larger organization, whether you are running your own business, small business owner, or are part of a larger team, I want you to think about this term and embrace it for the remainder of this year, but really looking at how you can participate in corporate social responsibility, CSR, in 2022. So first, let's chat a little bit about what CSR is. It sounds like this big thing, it sounds like a really serious thing, and while it is really big and serious, it also is very tangible and is something that every single person can participate in. CSR as a leader in business for you is something to think of as a management style. So it's really taking the way that you approach your future thinking, your business planning, and the impact that you want to have as a business on your community and the world at large. CSR is a way of expressing your management style in operations, in sales, and in communication marketing. There are four components to CSR. You want to think of environmental, ethical, economic, and philanthropic. So the environmental part is the impact that you're having on your community and the globe at large. Ethical is all about inclusion. It's all about the environment that you're creating in your company for people in your team and your stakeholders and your consumers to feel like they are included, that there is a place of belonging. The ethical part of CSR very much has to do with company culture. Economic, how equitable are you as a company and how many opportunities do you create for your team to grow and how many opportunities do you create for other people to enter into your industry. And lastly, philanthropic. Philanthropy is really about looking at business as a force of good and force for good. It goes beyond charity. It goes and taps in, it taps into your value proposition and think, forces you and your team to think about philanthropy as a way of making your industry, your community, and the world a better place for everyone. So anytime I do research, I want to also substantiate it with data. This data comes from the Harvard Business Review, which is one of my very favorite resources. I talk about them often. It's easy and it's digestible and it's always relevant. So did you know that as it relates to CSR, 70% of consumers believe that it's the company's responsibility to participate in making the world a better place. What does that look like? What does that sound like? If you look back at CSR, the environmental, the ethical, the economic, and the philanthropic branches inside of CSR, you can find a way to participate in making the world a better place. And remember, when CSR applies to your operations, your sales, and your communication, your marketing, this gives you something to talk about. Your consumer, your customer, your client will know, and their interest will be piqued about the kind of company that you are running and how you participate in making the world a better place. What's amazing about that statistic is that it allows you as a leader and an owner and a participant in, the, in your business to be able to define according to environmental, ethical, economic, and philanthropic endeavors what CSR expression looks like and how you want to create CSR inside of your company. 95% of employees believe that business should benefit all stakeholders. These are employees and companies who are paying attention to how business impacts everyone in the supply chain, everyone in the company, the consumer, the vendors, how new opportunities are being created. So it's not just about being profitable, it's about being beneficial to everyone involved in business. Imagine if you had an initiative inside of your company 
with CSR in mind that involved your employees? What would that do to your company culture? If 95% of your employees believe that business should benefit all stakeholders, how are you including your employees in that conversation? 55% of American consumers believe that companies should take a stand in environmental, political, and social issues. That doesn't mean that you become a political company. It means that you pay attention to what the consumer cares about. So we have learned that the American consumer cares about equity, that they care about diversity, and that they care about inclusion. They know, we know that the American consumer cares about how companies impact the environment, opportunities that they create for other people to participate in business. We also know that the American consumer cares about transparency and alignment to bigger and better causes. What I think is exciting about CSR is that it puts leaders in the driver's seat of using business as a vehicle, as a force for making this world a better place. You don't have to care about everything but you do have to align yourself to your value proposition and to your mission and begin to integrate all of your departments and all of your conversations around a message that is aligned with who you are in business and the kind of industry leader that you want to become 